All right, Silver Buck here. Uh, I'm just doing a money saving challenge update. So, as you well know, we got the ones complete, the twos complete, uh, complete, the five, tens, all complete. Now we're working on the twenties. I didn't do an update last week, uh, so I'm gonna do kind of two for one this week. This was last week's what I was supposed to save, and here's this week. So. What is it, $200 worth, so that's 10 So we're one-tenth of the way there for the 100, 100 build challenge on the 20s. Um, one thing I do want to emphasize is check your serial numbers. This $20 bill has got a star note. You can go to starnotelookup.com or Google Star Note Lookup and check that serial number. You put the year, the serial number in, and it'll tell you how rare it is, and you could very easily turn that $20 into 40 or 80 or 100 bucks. Hey, Bert, I'm trying to do a video here. Thanks. You can turn that $20 into more than just 20 bucks if it's a rare serial number with a star note. So keep an eye on your serial numbers. You know, sequential order, one, two, three, four, or, you know, mirrors, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, or anything like that. So just check your serial numbers because certain collectors, you can go on eBay or whatever and sell them and turn that 20 into 40 or 80 or 100 or whatever. Just a little tip to help flip your money to make it even more than what it actually is. But out of these serial numbers, the only one I saw worth a dang is that one with the star note. Now I did go through all my ones, twos, fives, and tens. And I will tell you, I had maybe five or less star notes and no serial numbers that meant anything to me. So it means not worth pulling aside and selling off. But that one, along with the other star notes, when I before I go cash in on whatever I wanna buy, I will be pulling those star notes and replacing them with different 20s, 10s, 5s, 2s, 1s, 50s, 100s, whatever. So, there's the update for this week. Um, I think the puppy's upstairs uh, taking a nap right now. But last week, what, two weeks ago, we got a, brought a brought the puppy home? Yeah. Two weeks ago, we brought our German Shepherd pup, puppy home at eight weeks. So, she's 10 weeks now. So, that's been taking up a lot of our attention and time because she's a baby t-rex terror on four legs so there you have it twenty dollar challenge trying to save up one hundred twenty dollar bills and we'll move on to the fifties after that like i said let me know how you guys are doing doesn't matter if you're starting at ones or you're already on your fifties i'm proud of you if that's the case let me know how you're doing. Give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell icon. Subscribe and uh, stay tuned because I'll be continuous, continuously updating. Sometimes I might skip a week due to my schedule. I'm not home a lot. Um, weekends is the main time I'm home and I try to do everything I need to do in a day and a half. So there you have it. And I also, if you can swing it, I would do this too. But I pay all my bills the first week of the month so i don't have to worry about it all the rest of the month and then i can stack some money up for the next month's bills way ahead of time like today i went and paid everything except for my truck payment rent's paid my car's paid lights gas water trash sewer cell phone bill insurance you name it cable it's a, it's all paid already so i don't have to have another payment until december like I said, except for my truck bill. Not everybody can do that, but if you can do it, I highly suggest it. Because then you don't forget anything. You don't get late payments on anything. And it's out of the way for the whole month. But just another little tip. Just little things I do. If you got any suggestions or requests or, you know, tips for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. But like I said, goodbye October. See you in November.